to RTP Gaming where today I'm going to be playing Horizon and also talking about upcoming game releases as well as uh, my friend's thoughts on the game who's with us today which is Chris Chambers and how are you doing right. Chris? How's it going man? You alright Rick? Yeah not so bad. So you've completed this yeah? Yeah of course uh, I had uh, got this the day that it was out. I, uh, it taken me uh, maybe a week to complete it, hence reason a lot about working quite a lot in that, you know, so... Uh, How many hours do you reckon it took you? What, story? Nine hours? Nine hours, you reckon? Aye, ah, even nine hours, but that's like no doing the side missions, but... Oh, right, you know okay. I mean, so there's like, you know, side missions and that, I kind of like tend to leave that to last and yeah you see I, I I played I did the side missions as I went and I probably got a good I don't know 20 30 hours out of it in total you see man, there's so much to do in the game oh, oh yeah for sure that. it's just because like you know like you know with me working quite a lot you know I really I haven't had the time in that you know to deal like a lot of the side quests um, I've done a few of them, but not that many. But Did I thought the story was absolutely fantastic. I thought it was great. The game is like visually stunning. Do you know what? Do you know what I thought was really impressive about this game was the um, character depth. Yeah, the character depth is like stunning as well, man. I mean, they did put a lot of thought in that into it, so you got to like appreciate that. I mean, I actually thought that, you know, in the long run when you were playing this, um, you know, it actually got you caring about the characters. It wasn't uh, just like yeah, a generic character and you didn't, like, relate to it at all or anything. Yeah, definitely. See, that's what I love about games these days, man, you know? See, I'm like a movie fanatic. I love my movies and that, right? Um, but I think games, games have got more depth than stories, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure, I mean... You know, because I mean, like, you're more connected to the characters than anything else in that, you know, and I mean, it's fantastic, it's absolutely brilliant, so I kind of like... I actually think that... I think that a lot, a lot of the time now, it's very rare that you find a game where it's long and it's got a good story to it, and you actually care about the game. Yeah, definitely, exactly. And that, you know, I mean, look at like uh, the Last of Us. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like uh, I mean, once maybe every couple of years you'll get like a a game in that, you know, be such so fascinating characters. Um, you know, fascinating games, stories, and that. You know, uh, that's what I kind of look forward to when, like, you know, that like a big game comes out. Whether it's Metal Gear Solid, um, Last of Us, Uncharted, um, and especially Death I mean, Stranding. I just cannot wait for Death Stranding. I mean, I don't know about you. I actually thought that when I played. Um when I played The Last of Us, you you, you sort of um, found yourself not knowing which way the story was going to go throughout a lot of it. Like, you know, it was it was really plot twisty, I thought. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and and the, same that, with, um, the same with... The same with... Oh, God, what was it called? Um, Uncharted as well. Then. Oh, right, right, Uncharted. I are cracking games, man. And both games are by uh, Naughty Dog as well. Ah, uh, definitely. Stay away, no mother. Oh, I hate that wee guy. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I just buy him. Just nice catch. That was so badass, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, man. You know, I forgot about that, but... Right, go on, which one should we go for? Aim for his head, knock the rock from his hands, or drop the rock? I would, uh, aim for his head. Yeah, screw it, come on. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. 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 You are bad. <laughs> Don't be calling me now. It's not my fault. You wanted me to throw it at him. I think uh, when I had played this first time, I had knocked the, the rock out of your hands. Yeah, I think I did the same, actually. Or, no, the first time I played, I dropped the rock, and the second time, I knocked the rock from his hands. That's the first time I've actually tried to hit him. Why am I an outcast? Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to go. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought me to me. So the matriarchs, they know? I mean, it makes you wonder what it's going to be like in the, in the near future. Know what I mean? What do you mean? It's like... What is it going to be like in like, you know, like 100 years, maybe 200 years from now? Are you seriously suggesting that we're going to be living in a world of Horizon Dawn in 10 years? No, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that. In about like 200 years, I think... Uh, the place will be different, anyway. Well, first of all, we won't be alive. Aye. Because <laughs> we'll be dead in 200 years. Well, the world's not going to be coming to an end. Well, hopefully not in the next couple of hundred years. Yeah, I suppose. But what it would be like, I mean, will we still be inhabiting the earth, or... Will there be machines or like what? I mean, who knows? Aliens? Yeah. I'll tell you what, oh, I really I love this sequence on this video. Aye, it's so cool, isn't it? Where she's growing up. I just think this is brilliant. Aye. Anyway, moving, moving on slightly with the to topic of conversation. What are you looking forward yes. to upcoming games? Ooh. My most, oh, haha, <laughs> she missed. Um, I think, no, well, the two the m most games, two games that I'm most excited about has to be The Last of Us 2 and Death Stranding. I mean, yeah, Death Stranding looks so good. The Last of Us 2, there's not been enough game footage. Yeah. Nah, nah, man, like, Naughty Dog are keeping a lot of shit close to their chest, you know what I mean? I actually, so, I actually think, you know, uh, has it even got a release date? They say it's next year, 2018. Oh, is it? But they said that it was early 2018. So, like, we haven't seen any of the gameplay footage in that yet, so I really doubt it. I think it might be later on, like, during maybe... My prediction is... I reckon um, it'll be this time next year, you know. Winter. Aye, winter time. Yeah, aye. That, that's my guess, anyway. I'll tell you what, that must have been a really long jump because she was a kid when she started the jump and she was an adult when she landed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah, do you know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to um, October because For what? we've got, well, there's about four, man. There's like that Shadow of War, the Lord of the Rings one, which you couldn't really get into, could you? So. No, you know, I just honestly, I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan, right? I think Lord of the Rings is freaking awesome. Um, I don't, I just couldn't get into the character. I just thought they were very bland. Yeah. No, it's like, you know, I, you know what, I really thought that seeing Gollum was really cool, but I just don't have, I don't feel any like connection. I, it just doesn't feel like Lord of the Rings to me. You know what I mean? It, like, you know, see if I had like Aragorn or Legolas or Gimli. Definitely, but I just don't like these spin-offs of fucking Lord of the Rings and that, you know? Yeah. Um, I just couldn't get into it. I, I, just, I thought it was very repetitive as well. 
Um, yeah, I mean, well, I you got to consider that uh, what they were trying to do with um, with uh, that Lord of the Rings game is they were they, they were trying to um, they they were trying to test out the new Nemesis system, which was the fact yeah. that you know if, if you kill an orc or an orc kills you, it can come back and it, it gains rank. It was something yeah. that the developers of the game made, and it was a system that they were testing out via that game. So you got to consider that 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 game was made solely uh, solely to test that uh, that mechanic, if you like. Yeah. Well, I'm. Um, I you know, know what I mean. Yeah. I yeah. See, I, re I really didn't play much of the game. But I think uh, the, the thing that put me off the most is uh, like see with the whole like the ranking thing in that right where like, as you say you know if you get killed they come back and they rank up and that blah 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 right the thing that really annoyed me the most was the voice acting because it was all the same freaking voice acting yeah the voices of the the orcs and that were all the same and that really irritated me. It really irritated me. I don't know, but I just couldn't. I, I really couldn't get into it. That's, that's just my opinion in that, you know. And I like just about freaking everything in that when it comes to games and that, you know. Um, but I just couldn't get into it. I just didn't feel that it was a Lord of the Rings. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, get, I get what you're saying. I, th I mean... Moving on from moving on from Lord of the Rings, I the other one I'm fancy is uh, so you got Shadow of War, you've got Evil Within Two, which I'm a big big fan of, huge fan of. I you know I love Evil, Evil Within. Within. Yeah. Um, I need I need to try that out, Evil Within. Did you not? Have you not tried it? I haven't tried it. No, I did watch you play it for. Maybe, I think it was about half an hour. Uh, I was in one of your streams and I liked the look of it. I wanted to buy it, I just didn't have, like, no. It was one of those, like, no games where you really wanted to play it in that, right? But you never came across to actually buying it in that. It was the same with me with Skyrim in that. Everyone played that. I can. I didn't play. I was meant to buy it, but I never came across to getting it. Yeah. And but being an old game in that now, I'm kind of like, um, like, I have no, I'm not, but I have no bothered with. It. You know what I mean? But I did play, like, so Oblivion, and I thought Oblivion was brilliant in that. You know, um, and I know that Skyrim was meant to be ten times better than Oblivion. Um, yeah. But. I just haven't had the time or getting into it or like buying it, you know. Do you know? Do you know what? To be fair, Evil Within. The thing I I really liked about Evil Within was it it was a genuinely not scary game, but you know it was it was it was genuinely like, like psychological. Yeah. So uh, is Evil Within got like has it got a good story then? It's got a very very good storyline. Very good story. So like, is it's, it like a twisty kind of story? Yeah, it's it's kind of um, it's kind so of like really like it. messed up the storylines. So you know what I mean? It's, in other it, words, it's like um, it's not what you think like it is. What, put it that what, way. What movie? <laughs> what movie would you compare it to? Like, I know it's like, I know it's a game, but like you know. And if there's like a movie very similar like it in terms of story, what would it be? Uh, in terms of the way the game works and 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 moments in the game, I would compare it a bit to Inception. What like really? And what really? Inception. Mm. And that's giving away quite a big clue, but not All giving right. the whole game no, away. I, if don't, you know I, mean. I don't know, but. Uh, I will give it. A, I will give it a try at some point, definitely. In fact, do you know what? I may just buy it then. <laughs> I've sold it to you on that on that one bit of information. I sold it to me, I have what, like I said, I watched you play it, and that you know, <laughs> and um, 
I thought it was really cool in that, you know. Uh, I just haven't had the time to buy it pretty much. Well, well, I'll tell you what, yeah. what I can... What I could do, if you want to, if you want to actually have a, a feel for the game, um, I could uh, share play it, and right, you could have a quick go on. on it. Right, you're on. Assassin's Creed Origins. Origins, that's, that's it. Yeah. Okay. I am quite looking forward to that as well, although. A part of me realizes that it's just the same as any other Assassin's Creed game. Well, I'm not buying it if that's the case. See, see if it was different. See if, like, you know, they managed to do things a wee bit differently in that. You know, be right. Assassin's Creed One. I remember when that first came out, man. It was hyped up so much, right? And uh, the only thing that you'd done in the game was eavesdrop, and then you had to pickpocket. And then you had to uh, interrogate, and then you get your yeah your target who you're supposed to kill, and then you go and kill him, and then you repeat that, and you repeat that, but in a different place, but it looked all the same, yeah, um, but with a different filter. Right, don't get me wrong, the graphics were all, like stunning in that, right? But um, it was a really cool idea, and I did like the whole social. Um, Stealth, like you know, the social stealth was like you know, like uh, blending into the crowds and that. It was a really cool idea, in that you know, it was a cool idea. Um, but I thought it was a letdown. But the second one, the second one was brilliant. I thought, I thought that was good, man. It was like more like obviously side quests and that. Yeah. And, um, then there was, uh, if I'm correct, I think it was Revel Brotherhood. And Revelations, I had played them. In fact, I didn't complete Revelations. I just got bored with it. Uh, I didn't play Assassin's Creed Three because apparently it was just the same set over and over again. Excuse my language. Right. Um. And then there was a. I think it just kept on repeating the same thing in that. You know, I didn't know. I didn't know where the story was going. It was everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, certainly the third one was awful. The third one was really bad. Like Assassin's Creed 3, not um, not like Revelations or anything like that, but Assassin's Creed 3 in itself was absolutely awful. But, uh, it was really honestly, bad. I think the, the, the Assassins, they look really cool. I mean, you got, like, you know, like they did in that, you know, in the, the Hidden Blade. It's just, it's pretty cool in that. But... Uh, it just wasn't going anywhere. It was turning into another Call of Duty. They were bringing one out every year in that. Yeah. You know, there was no um, thought being put into it, you know, and it was just, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. Um, but they kept on bringing it more and they just kept on getting worse and worse. So I never bothered with it. So. Um, Headshots, by the way. Kinda nice headshots. I <laughs> I had watched the trailer for Assassin's Creed Origins. Yeah. Right here, man, that could be pretty good. Uh, I mean, it did look good. Before. I mean, to be honest, the, the last really, really good Assassin's Creed game was Black Flag. Yeah, yeah, I Black Flag. I've heard that it was a good game. That Black Flag. Black um, Black Flag was absolutely fantastic. It was a brilliant game. Yeah, Re cool, man. Really, really good. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, Final Fantasy VII the Remake looks amazing. It looks so good. Although, although I've heard a couple of people saying that it's um, it's a bit of a letdown. Because, really? yeah, because apparently a lot of people are complaining that it's not the, um, it's not the same gameplay as the original i.e. it's not turn based yeah, yeah. I think uh, they were wanting to do a Final Fantasy 15 can I yeah um, and I mean I'm not opposed to that because I think 15 was brilliant so yeah I like liked the game I did kind of like the combat the camera was annoying like really annoying what in 15 it's not, yeah it's not my favourite Final Fantasy, I think that would be my my lowest of 
the like you know my list on the final fantasy like my favorite final fantasy list i think that would have to be at the bottom really um final fantasy 7 well for me is by far one of the greatest games ever made yeah but um, i mean definitely one of the best rpgs ever made and then there was final fantasy 8 uh, oh sorry where am i at? god i can't i don't know what Number one is definitely Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy Eight would have to be two, like my second favorite. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy Ten has to be my third. third favorite, and then obviously like fifteen is definitely on my we can top five. The bottom, yeah. Right. Um, do you know if I had to if I had to do my top five of those, it would probably be very similar. It'd be seven, eight, ten. No, seven, eight, fifteen, ten, twelve. You're about to see. I did play Final Fantasy XII, right? I didn't get. I didn't manage to complete the game like years ago. Um, I I had I had the game. Um, and I had played it till maybe, I think I was like near the end, I must have been near the end. And yeah. I decided to, like, you know, like just give it a rest. So, I'm not, I loved the combat system, I thought that was great. In fact, I think the combat system in that was miles better than Final Fantasy 15. In which was that, in 12? I in 12. You know, right. I thought, like, I thought the combat was miles better than 15. Easily. Um, um, I, I'll tell you what, I agree with you in that respect because I, I really enjoyed 12 because it broke the norm. Because up until 12, uh, it was all turn based. It felt like a, a Final Fantasy game. But yeah. Final Fantasy 15, it doesn't feel like a, a Final Fantasy game in ways. You know what I mean? It's like. Um, that's just my opinion, but. If you had to name your top five games of all time, what would you have? Any console? Any console. Any console. Like, any console. My top favourite. No. Oh, my top favourite. My top favourite guy. Uh, freaking games of all time. Start. Start from five to one. From. Fifth Man, best, it's so, best. so difficult. It's so difficult, right? Final Fantasy VII is your yeah, fifth. Metal G yeah, Final Fantasy VII, right? Um, second, right? This is like a saga. This is my saga because I honestly think that um, God, man, no, right? Wait, Matt. Metal Gear Solid is definitely my number one. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid saga, or so all, right, all of them is number one. Yeah, all of them. Cause it's number saga. one. You're allowed that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second, Final Fantasy VII. Arguably one of the greatest games ever made. Last of Us 3. Uncharted 4. And, um... God, man. Uh, <laughs> it's so difficult. Um... Right, five is definitely going to have to be Tekken. Ooh, really? Aye, Tekken is because, like, see, I think uh, when Tekken first came out and that, you know, it's like, when, we, when me and my mates and that were all, like, you know, we can, when the PlayStation first came out, I mean, we loved Tekken. I mean, we played Tekken all the time, right? And for everyone in that, you know, like born in the 1980s and that, and is just as old as me. Right. Uh, and like, you know, like to write good we smoking that once in a wee bit and that, you know. Um, and like getting together with your friends and that, you know, and like just chilling out, man, you know. And getting into tech and we were very, very um, competitive when it came to that game. And we had like so many great great times of gaming and that, you know, when we were all together, and, uh, you know, it, it was such a laugh in that, you know, it was brilliant, 
Um, so I definitely, definitely. Tekken. Tekken is definitely on my my favourite of all time in that, you know. Right. Well, with that, anyway, uh, I think we will call it quits Sweet. for the video. And we'll see if I can... Uh, I'll, I'll probably crack even with him on, on the next video and I'll let you have a crack and you have to let us know what you think about it. How about that? Yep, sounds like a plan. Right, well... Thanks very much for uh, your time, and I'll see all you guys later. Yeah, see you guys. Ciao.